The concept of specificity is an interesting one when considering the training for a sport. In the case of Olympic style weightlifting, it would seem as though the most specific way to train the clean outside of actually doing the clean would be to front squat. Under the commonly known but misunderstood Bulgarian system developed by Ivan Abijayev, specificity was the cornerstone of the program. They snatch full, they clean and jerk full, and they front squatted all with the intent of reaching maximal load. Now, if you have four to seven hours a day to train a proper pharmacologist, and you also feel like you won't go insane from lifting the same way day in and day out, then the Bulgarian system might be for you. For the rest of the Olympic style weightlifters, we need to take the concept of specificity with a grain of salt, especially when considering a movement like the back squat. Oftentimes, weightlifters think of linking the tempo and intent of the back squat to that of the clean. And the thought process here is just to drop the hips straight, shove the knees forward, and push. To fix this problem, it starts with the feet. Yasha Khan wrote an amazing article, which I will link in the description, that talks about the balance in the squat. In it, he says, a lack of mobility, flexibility, or positional strength may cause certain correct positions of the back squat to feel uncomfortable. To avoid these uncomfortable positions, lifters tend to shift their bodies into positions that feel more comfortable. This causes some muscles to get overused and other muscles to get underused. It also shifts the center balance of the squat. The optimal center balance or center base that Yasha is talking about is equal or flat pressure throughout the entire foot. Here's an old PR squat of mine. You can see the lack of control in the descent and the shift of the center base. Now, if you look at my current high bar PR, you'll notice the eccentric control and that I maintain balance throughout the foot at all times. You can see with this old near maximal clean, I shift the weight forward onto my toes, throw my shoulders back, and now we see horizontal force into the barbell. With this, you'll often see a noticeable jump back. Here's a more recent clean and jerk of mine. You can notice the difference straight away with the elimination of that jump back. This is because I'm much stronger in my once weak points. In order to maintain equal foot pressure during the squat, it takes a large amount of control and maintenance of core rigidity or tightness. This is largely exhibited in powerlifting. First thing I coach with everybody is tightness. Like it's tightness control. It's basically, it's the only thing I shout at people at this point is just to be tight. Just because at that point, you know, if you if you aren't tight, if you aren't maintaining good position, there's no way, no matter how strong you are, fast you are, that you're going to represent that strength or speed or whatever just in an efficient manner. And I mean, what we're really trying to accomplish is, is generally speaking, that the, the bar needs to be midfoot. So like with a low bar squat, the bar moves down, but really, if it moves down, it has to move backwards slightly. So, so then at that point, my you know the angle of my trunk has to change a little bit. So then my hip changes a little bit. But if I'm if I'm cueing a, a low bar squat or a high bar squat, I'm using the same cues as far as foot pressure and those kind of things. But the center of mass changes slightly just because the the bar has been lowered, ensuring through the descent that your weight is where you want it and that you're able to utilize the muscles that you want to stand up, rather than just like hoping it happens. My sport is squatting, so I put a lot of effort into making my squat good, finding good stance width, and utilizing my legs, and creating tightness, and basically just finding a way to get really, really strong there. Um, and I think sometimes that's the, that's the missing piece with the weightlifters. Back to the earlier mentioned concept of specificity. In my opinion, if you're programming correctly, you can treat the back squat like the accessory movement it is. By doing so, you strengthen weak areas missed by your cleans and your snatches. I'm not saying you should get in a squat suit, turn up the Pantera, unrack from a monolift, slam some nose torque, and keep the shins vertical. I'm simply saying you should squat with the intent of a power lifter. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and you want more educational content on weightlifting, please subscribe. Also, be sure to subscribe to David's channel. He has some really, really legitimate powerlifting content.